Hi everyone, I'm Bill Clarkson with Clarkson Centauro, and this is your weekly real estate update for February 18th. In this weekly series, we update you on the latest trends that are occurring in our San Ramon real estate market, using our more than 50 combined years of experience helping clients buy and sell homes. We explain what those trends mean for you as a homeowner, or as someone looking for a house you will love to call home. Our current inventory is 19 homes, up from 10 last week. The average asking price of those homes was $1,823,000, which is up from last week's average of $1,670,000. Nine homes with an average of $1,856,000 went pending this week. This is the same number of pending homes as last week, but with a higher average selling price from last week's 1,841,000. A total of nine homes sold this week with an average sales price of 2,184,000. This average price was up from last week's average of 2,165,000 and the total number of homes sold was the same as last week's number of nine. Now for this week's commentary. The best single indicators of the San Ramon market's direction and trends are the 30-day rolling average statistics we record on a daily basis for inventory, days on market, pending sales, closed sales prices, and the amount over the list price. These metrics allow us to accurately portray and sometimes predict the health and vitality of the market. To this point, let's review what the numbers are telling us. First, there has been a significant increase in our inventory. The number of active homes has almost doubled this week to 19 homes, but is still 60% below the norm for an average market. But this is an encouraging trend for buyers. The inventory turnover rate, which measures how often inventory turns over each month, is still hovering at about twice the normal average, confirming that the market remains hot. As long as the turnover rate remains about 1.5 times per month, we will have an excellent seller's market. Over the last year, this statistic never dropped below 1.7 times. It should be noted that the number of pending sales is lower than normal, but this is driven primarily by low inventory. <clears throat> there are still lots of buyers out there, but not enough homes. As this chart shows, as our inventory was increasing, so were our pending sales. As long as this ratio of inventory to pending sales remains consistent, the relentless upward pressure on prices will continue. Now, as dramatic as last year's property value appreciation was at 32%, this year is beginning even stronger. Only will time will tell if this jump in prices will settle down. We predict that there will be a slight decline in the average closing prices over the next several weeks because of the large number of smaller homes that went pending these last 30 days. So as the predicted decline in prices is not due to slowing of the market, as the next graphic will show. This chart clearly shows just how crazy and competitive this market is as buyers attempt to outbid each other to secure an acceptable offer. In 2021, buyers paid an average of $177,000 over the asking price, but for the last 60 days, the accepted offers have averaged over $200,000. And today, this number stands at an all-time high of $287,000, or about 15% over the asking price. In summary, this market is not slowing down and here's the amazing part. We are just entering the traditionally hot market season of March, April, and May. We'll be closely watching the numbers and we'll report back to you each week on the market status. I hope this weekly summary and commentary was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if, if you have specific questions you would like us to answer on these updates and what the numbers mean for you. And if you find this information helpful, hit the like button and subscribe so you will always be up to date on the latest real estate news in San Ramon. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next week with a new update.